Friday is the last official day of campaigning before Sunday's presidential election. Simon McGregor Wood reports. Police searched the house of the suspected attacker Karim Sherfi. He was known. In 2001, he was jailed for the attempted murder of three officers and was released in 2015, only to be questioned again this February on suspicion of planning another attack. But police let him go. That's raising questions. It surprises me that authorities knew about him but did nothing really to stop it. I think if they wanted to, there would not have been such a catastrophe. At the scene, there were flowers and a prayer for the dead policeman. So here on the Champs-Élysées, close to the scene of Thursday night's attack, it's pretty much business as usual. But Friday is also the last official day of campaigning ahead of Sunday's presidential election. And the leading candidates have been quick to cancel their election schedule to allow them more time to respond to what happened here on Thursday. First to respond, not surprisingly, National Front leader Marine Le Pen. For 10 years, under right-wing or left-wing governments, everything has been done so that we lose. We need a president who acts, who protects, because this country is at war. Next, the Conservative François Fillon, also talking tough. Some people haven't yet realised the extent of the evil which is threatening us and which, for my part, I plan to fight with an iron will. And then moderation from the centre-left independent Emmanuel Macron. In these circumstances, the primary role of the president as the army chief and guarantor of our institutions is to protect the French people. I am ready. It's just not yet clear what effect this attack will have on the election. Conventional wisdom says it should help the right-wing candidates who are promising to get tough. What is clear is that the attack which many feared is dominating the final hours of this campaign. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World, Paris.